Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how uh, creating a multiple table view in one view controller. As usual, there's a link to source code in comments. Yeah, and we can start a project and as usual, I'll show you how it will be our output. So you will have, I have two table view in one view and I control it is with only one cont view controller okay so let's start our project so file new project single view app iOS Swift multi L table view okay so for this one in my main storyboard in my view controller I want to, to place two table views so here we go I just draw up the first one I say okay I stick to top three corner with a zero and then control drag from my view table view to super view and I say equal width so by this way it's gonna fill whole space uh, it's not doing that yet so let's double check yes probably just get something so for top oh yeah because I didn't say about the button uh, uh, constraint yet that's, that's why it's not doing that but you know I don't want to fill everything so I come here in equal width and instead of this I just say 0 0.6 or so 60% okay then I'm gonna go to library again and drop my second table view and I say this one stick to all corners with zero so automatically it's gonna stick this you know what uh, didn't do that so I'm gonna do it a little bit myself okay now I'm gonna say okay stick this with zero to all corners see what's happening still it's not gonna work it should work but there is something because uh, yeah top button leading what about this one yeah probably I forgot to say this one okay so top button and leading so for this one yes Oh, you know what I said width uh, I should say height yes uh, so I'm gonna change this to high and this one to high okay now you'll see it's working okay so that's uh, how we work so far and uh, now I'm gonna need uh, I need to connect these two to my view controller so I open assistant editor control drag to here and I name it top table view and the second one I name it down table view Also, these uh, okay. Now I'm do I did my connection, uh, so I'm gonna close the stand editor. I go to table view. Also, I need to add uh, cell to both, and for each cell, I'll go to 
uh, attribute inspector and I give it a cell identifier so for this one I just say top cell and for this one I need to uh, cell as well and I name it down cell okay so we did uh, this part uh, almost uh, okay I need some data for that so I just say okay variable for top let's say top data and I say this is from type of a string and equal empty it's array of a string and uh, I can s declare it like this as well so down data equal array of a string so it's gonna make empty array of a string as well you know I didn't mention type but it will get it from uh, actually initialize uh, uh, value we get to the, we get it to, to it so uh, now uh, the first thing I need to do before I do ev everything I need to come and uh, extend this with UI table view delegate and UI table view data source and uh, here I get I'll get error but don't worry about that we will take care of that but for now uh, I just say okay my top table view dot delegate equal self and my down table view dot delegate equals self as well also my top table view dot data source equal self and my down table view dot data source equals self as well don't make sure to always do this you can do it with uh, the storyboard as well but it preferably doing if you do that here it will be much better okay so now I'm gonna give a value to this uh, actually array so I just say okay for index in uh, array of uh, 0 or sequence uh, from 0 to 20 say okay my top data append to it new element and this new element is going to be one string I just say top table row number index okay And for uh, down data, yeah, for my down data, oh, here you go. So, yeah, for my down data, this one start from, uh, for example, 10 to for the five okay so different land different you know sequence and this one gonna be down here you go and uh, yes yeah, so we have uh, now everything ready to start and take care of this error so this error what is this this says that you need to conform to these protocol data source so if you tab on fix it's gonna add to uh, you know method here for you but I'm gonna do it myself so first of all I just say number of section gonna be one 
I'm not gonna use section here, but oh, I should say number of row in section. How gonna be that? So here is the place that we start. So I just say var number number of a row equal one, but I start a switch case and in this switch I just get my table view and say okay if my table view was the top one do this and uh, which is say okay number of row equal top data dot count so if it was top but if it was down table view it gonna get down data for me and here just uh, not private uh, print something's wrong and do nothing because uh, it's not supposed to go to default okay and uh, now uh, we need to make our cell so here I just say cell for row at uh, index path so this one table view this function is gonna declare itself for you so I just say uh, okay my var cell equal UI table view cell so I just give it uh, you know mm, uh, just empty uh, cell create this one because I need to return this one at the end I need to make a variable of this uh, which I'm supposed to return okay and uh, for this one I need again to this switch case to work for this one so uh, in this uh, for top I say okay my cell will be equal uh, from table view dot eq reusable cell with identifier if you remember we gave it top cell for identifier uh, for our cell identifier and it's going to be index path where we get index back to this one and uh, so now uh, i can start to give value to this i just say okay cell dot text label dot text equal my top data dot not dot uh, yeah get in from index path dot row and also I give it different backgrounds so I just say cell dot background color equal UI color dot for example green okay so I can do this for down table view as well just instead of this I can say down cell and uh, for this one going to be down data and of course instead of green I use yellow to make it two different table view obviously for you okay so missing return yes uh, return my number of row for me and also this gonna go because I use it so uh, yeah we did uh, I believe everything and uh, just here I'm gonna say yes run this for me in iPhone 8 plus that I already have simulator it open 
and uh, let's uh, run it and see how going to be our output and uh, yes uh, here you will see we got error yes uh, what do you think this for uh, let's we we'll look at this and see why it's jumped out unable to decrease cell with identifier down cell yeah this is right yeah uh, I have <laughs> uh, keep typing this wrong stop and run And yes, now we have one table view with two different is it two table view in one view and we can make it how many you like because we use switch uh, case and we can add just one case for new cell so there is no worry now for using this uh, yeah. Uh, that's it for today I hope you like it if you like it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe for more video like this and if you have any question please ask in the comments uh, and uh, I wish the best for you and have a good one bye bye